Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today for another video. Um, if you're new to my channel, I appreciate you being here. I am going to be doing a diptych, which is two canvases. Um, a triptych would be three. Um, but I'm going to be doing a, t a diptych on two 12 by 36 inch canvases today. So the base coat I'm going to be using is this color that I made using white. I added a little bit of Van Dyke brown and a little bit of caramel color from Lucas um, to get the color that I wanted. And as you can see, hopefully you can see over here, my paints are thin for the Dutch pour. The other colors that I'm gonna be using, I'll show you in just a minute, but I found these two the other day, beautiful. This one is called Fire Opal. Yeah, Fire Opal, it's amazing. I'm using this one today. And this one is called Aquamarine. Both of them are gorgeous. The other colors that I'm going to be using are Van Dyke Brown from Amsterdam. This is Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue by Grumbacher. My um, Fire Opal, which is by Folk Art, if I didn't tell you a minute ago. This color I made up, it's Apricot by Arteza with a little bit of the Van Dyke Brown in it, um, Amsterdam Van Dyke Brown, and a little bit of Vermilion Orange in it. So it's just a really pretty color. And then some white. So I'm gonna go ahead and flood my bases and um, I will be back in just a minute. Now that I've got my canvases flooded, I'm just gonna pop the air bubbles. I did make this paint yesterday. There's something in it right there. Okay. So some of the air bubbles had already gone out. There's not too, too many. The way I imagine this one hanging is two side by side this way, um, not linear or not horizontal like you're see seeing them. So I'm gonna do my design like this and like this. Um, I'm gonna start with my Van Dyke Brown. Get that out of there. And I'm gonna go like this. Okay go off on that side and I'm gonna do just a little bit more and then over here I'll start here all right here comes that apricot orangish color that I made I'm just go right over this same way let's go this direction first can always add to your piece it's, and you can take away but it's just a little bit more challenging to take away so uh do i add the yellow let's go ahead and add wow this fire opal it's it's really pretty i don't know what to expect it is a metallic uh, so we shall see but isn't it pretty with those colors it's really pretty I'm adding the yellow as a contrast color. Um, I saw Rinska Downa do a painting with some grays and pinks and uh, used yellow, and I didn't think it would go, but it actually was really beautiful, so I thought, you know what? I am gonna give it a try. So here we go with the yellow. Here we go. Looks pretty. Add a little bit more there. Hopefully I don't, didn't add too much. I'm gonna add a tad bit of white. Don't know if this is a mistake or not, but you know what? I, I think I've said that about every color, but <laughs> they look very pretty on my table and this is what I'm going for. Just a little bit. You can already see the reaction over here. I hope you can see it. I'm gonna pop the air bubbles in my colors. Colors are beautiful. Very pretty. I'm gonna add a little bit of paint. Just a little bit. Just to make sure that my colors flow well. There we go. I'm gonna add some over here. And I could blow the, the 
base cut over these colors if I wanted to. There we go. And a little bit here. I had to get a dip cut because my jug of paint was so huge. So, <laughs> that's what I'm doing over there is dipping my paint, or dipping, dipping my cup in that big jug. Like I said, I'm just adding this so the paint will move really well. Okay. Put that back down. Air bubbles. Move that. Here we go. I'm going to blow this over here first because that's where I want, want the corners to be covered and to match. Pretty. I'm going to do that a little bit. So pretty. In the wrong direction. There's a lot of color hiding under there, so give it a second. Start over here. I want this to kind of match, so I'm going to come back this way. sure how the color combo is going to go, like I said, but I love it. I want to find some more color over here, but there is a lot hiding, so I'm going to blow out some of these areas. Now that I've blown all the parts that I think I want to blow, I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. It is gorgeous. I, I think it's gorgeous. Still not sure exactly how the um, fire opal is going to dry, but we shall see. All right, see you in a minute. All right, y'all, there's the final piece. It is so pretty. You can see my ring light. <laughs> uh, wow. Look at the details. You can see the shimmer. And again, I don't know how it's going to dry. This is the first time I've used that fire opal. But the piece is beautiful. And that yellow adds a lot. It really does. This is the part I had to fuss with a whole bunch over here. It wasn't wanting to cooperate. But I finally got it to where I wanted it. It's really pretty. 
really is. Mm. That's gorgeous. And I wanted to point something out. So when I'm blowing it out, you can't see it, but this part, like right here, it adds so much to a piece. It really does. Just those little bitty pieces. And see, I've got some over here too. Just those little lines. And everything you do and everything you touch is going to show up. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. And um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell and that like button. And I will see you for the next video. Bye.